Hello, hello, beautiful and amazing people. I am Jay, and you are watching DS Tech Media, everything tech, focusing on Linux and open source software, including using Linux for making music, video, and graphics. And today I'm going to be showing you the premium and professional choice for sending audio across your local network or even across the internet with Jack Trip. And if you find this video to be helpful or you enjoy content like this, please hit that thumbs up button. Only takes a split second and doesn't cost you a thing. Also, it would really help if you would subscribe and share this video with a community or someone you know that might also find it helpful. So recently I wanted to do a live streaming test with my RTMP server and uh, this room, this studio is new, but the computer in this room is not my live streaming computer. So I needed to find a way to send both audio and video in real time to the other studio for the live stream. And I'm already familiar with how to send audio from one Linux computer to the other using Pulse Audio. However, I do all of my recording with Jack. And so I looked up how to route audio through Jack over the network and found that there are several solutions, including NetJack 1 and 2 and Zeta Jack to network. I started off with Zeta Jack to network because it seemed like the easiest way. However, it did not work in my particular case. And I saw someone recommending Jack Trip. So Jack Trip is actually two separate things. If you go to jacktrip.com, you'll see that it's actually a company that offers a platform as a service using Jack Trip. However, there's also a open source application called Jack Trip that's available for free. From what I can tell, the Jack Trip company and their virtual studio platform started around the same time as the pandemic and they offer an online application that allows you to do video conferencing with multiple people using Jack Trip and Jack as the underlying sound technology. And if you're not familiar, the Jack Audio Connection Kit is the Pro Audio Sound Server designed specifically for high quality, low latency performance for Linux music production. However, like most open source technologies, it is also available on Mac OS and Windows. And they actually offer their virtual studio in three tiers, the first one being entirely free with your virtual studio being able to have up to five members and publicly available with standard definition video. The two paid tiers add on HD video and as many as 30 users per studio session and you can also record in private instead of publicly available. And on their technologies page, they talk about the various contributing factors to audio latency. And they mention the two different network topologies, the centralized hub and the peer-to-peer -peer connection methods, both of which are available in the JackTrip open source application. And if you go to the support page, there's the setups and guides, info, frequently asked questions, and troubleshooting, and open source Jack Trip. And on here, they have guides for building a Raspberry Pi 4 computer with Jack Trip, and they offer a copy of their virtual studio image for the Raspberry Pi. And the virtual studio can actually be accessed through the website or as a application that's basically just a desktop app that acts as a front end for the virtual studio website. I tried it out but couldn't get it to work and since it's supposed to be the same as the site it, it doesn't seem like there's much point to it anyway. 
but they give you a guide for setting up the analog bridge and this is actually the do-it-yourself version of a product that you can buy called the jack trip analog bridge and it costs 250 dollars at the time of recording this and from the images it's pretty clear to me that this is actually a raspberry pi 4 with the hi-fi berry pi hat attached and that acts as a digital analog converter and this is actually pretty cool because you can do this yourself at home however none of this was what I was looking for I was only interested in the open source software and to get to that you can go to jacktrip.com and down at the bottom of their main page there is a little spot that says Jack Trip Core, the open source engine that powers Jack Trip's award winning musical collaboration tools. And boom, here we are. If we just go over to user guide. We have the installation instructions. Uh, you can use sudo dnf install Jack Trip on Fedora or sudo apt install Jack Trip on Ubuntu. However, I went with the latest release that requires adding the personal package archive repository. And of course, there is the installer and application bundle for macOS and the Windows installer and executable on the GitHub release page as well. So installing JackTrip is as easy as copying this line in my case copying this line into my terminal one thing that is important is you want to make sure that you have both jack trip and jack trip gui installed and here we are it's relatively easy to use and set up uh, this is the main machine so i'm going to be using this as a peer-to-peer -peer server and then in the other room on the client machine i just have to enter the ip address obviously you're going to need it installed on both sides and we have the number of channels we want to send and receive i'm just going to be leaving it at two and two however i could set it higher because my interface has two inputs so there's a microphone running into one and then i might run the synthesizer into the other one or i could probably send both of those on the same channel however if i was actually recording music and wanted to be able to mix the vocals and the synthesizer separately it would make sense to route separate channels down here we've got disconnect after 10 seconds of no network activity or set buffer to zero when under run occurs and I assume that what that means is it'll make an attempt to shrink the buffer to sync the two clients up. As I mentioned before, there's the peer-to-peer -peer model or the hub model. And if I had other people that I was planning on recording with, it would make sense to make this either a hub server or a hub client depending on the role of this computer. So if this was going to be the, the central studio, I would use hub server. We've also got advanced options, which lets you set a custom client name, the port, the cube buffer length, redundancy, and the audio bit resolution. This needs to be the same for your client and your server. We can also display input output stats and debug information under audio backend we've got two options here jack and rt uh, the rest of this stuff is grayed out because i have jack running right now so you can't change anything about the server then we have the jitter buffer and to be 100 percent honest i'm not sure what that does however back at the website under resources post configuration and using jack trip detailed instructions and this is at CCRMA, the Stanford Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. Awesome resource in general. They have a musiciansTogetherapart.com slash network test, which will tell you the ping time, average latency, and jitter variation of latency, as well as upload and download data rates. 
So essentially, the jitter buffer is an attempt to compensate for jitter in your network. And in my case, it doesn't really matter because I'm only using this on my local network. The final tab here is plugins, which is pretty cool. You can enable Freeverb, Zeta Rev, which is also reverb, a compressor and a limiter. And you can do that for incoming or outgoing. And so here I have my jack connections and I'm going to go ahead and start jack trip and the stats window opened up and now we have jack trip receives and sends now I'm going to go and start it in the other room so now it's working and we have stats for the performance and everything looks good and here I have my GoPro set up. I'm going to hit record. I'll, I'll sync, sync up, up the, the two different videos to see that the other computer is putting out this sound. I'm going to walk, walk over, over there, there and I'll, I'll turn, turn on my Droid Cam OBS, OBS and, and you'll have video and audio from, from the other studio. studio. And so here we are in the other room, the other studio. I just realized a second ago that I didn't have the volume turned back up on the interface. So I had to do that because it would have refed through and you would have had a feedback loop. And this is how I did the live stream uh, yesterday. It, uh, I think it works very, very well. I have yet to test this over the internet. And so uh, there you have it. That's Jack Trip. Super easy to use. Works on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. I'll leave the links, I think, in the description. Although apparently YouTube doesn't like links anymore because reasons. <laughs> like they wouldn't want me to link to Rumble or Odyssey or BitChute. That upsets them. Anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, I've yet to test out the Virtual Studio through the Jack Trip service, but I have a friend who wants to teach guitar lessons online, and I'm going to recommend it to him for sure. He's got a Mac, so he'll be glad that it works for Mac. Uh, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'm going to play a little song because I normally have some music at the end here. <laughs>